Thank you for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. It is July 29th, 2025. We're tracking several tropical waves and in the eastern and really central Pacific, a couple systems out there, named systems, Iona and Kelly. I want to show you both of those two named systems way the heck out here. We do have some areas of rain we are watching, no doubt. Some of us have been way too dry, right? But watching this rain building, parts of Honduras, even near Providencia and San Andres, watching Nicaragua, Costa Rica for some of that rain, keeping an eye on this. Belize will We'll be on the edge of it. We'll see some scattered areas of rain and thunderstorms breaking free throughout the day. For us in the Eastern Caribbean, I want to show you some dust on the way. Not only some stronger tropical waves that we'll have to track together, but also some of that dust in some other spots where we could get a couple storms today. Jamaica, we could see a few. Let me zoom down here for us in Jamaica. Now, some of us have been just so dry and haven't gotten any rain, while others occasionally we've gotten some thunderstorms. So if you don't mind through the day, uh, leave your location and what you've got going on, uh, if you have storms or no storms, in the comments, and I'll get to that. But if we do get some rain, you see a little bit of purple is showing up. We could get a few spots over 50 millimeters of rain, but others, absolutely nothing again. And with some of the dry air, it has been so very hot. There's no doubt this time of year, if we're dry, we're on the hot side. Look at this. These are the tropical waves marching across. Here we are from Dominica down through Barbados and Trinidad and Tobago. A couple strong tropical waves. I am monitoring these for any development as of now, I am not seeing signs of development out of these. Down the road, though, we'll need to watch out for some prospects of development. At least in the short term, there is some dust around. Not that that is necessarily a good thing, especially if you have any breathing issues and some of us desperately need to get some of the rain. But today, tomorrow, some of that dust around, especially over toward uh, Puerto Rico, U.S., British Virgin Islands, Anguilla, Antigua, Barbuda, St. Kitts, and Nevis. And then by the time we get into Friday, we're going to see another surge of dust. This will coincide. It'll be the same time we get a tropical wave trying to move in. And you see some of the dust. It's not too terribly thick, but this is even into this weekend. Some dust approaching uh, parts of the Eastern Caribbean and some of the dust trying to squeak into the Bahamas. And I bring this up because this is very stable in sinking air. So the dust may at least temporarily prevent some of these tropical waves from developing. But temporarily, it does look a lot more active mid to late August. And even as some of this dust moves off, even through the first week of August, we need to keep an eye on a little chance of some development down the road. Here it is. This is what I'm watching. Let's track these tropical waves together. As of now, the new stronger one that has just come off the coast of Africa, most of the models are not developing it in the short term. The Icon German model, though, eventually, once this tropical wave passes by the Eastern Caribbean, it moves toward the United States it does eventually develop this area into a tropical storm. So at least temporarily, we shouldn't see a whole lot of development. Uh, but down the road, as this tropical wave approaches maybe the Bahamas or approaches parts of the United States, there could be a little bit of development that we'll have to watch out for as we get deeper into the first week of August. Now let's start here and then I want to zoom out toward the Atlantic, watching out for those spotty storms, as I mentioned. Uh, Jamaica, Haiti, uh, the DR today, parts of Cuba, heavier rain, parts of Central America. And for us in the Eastern Caribbean, as I mentioned, we have some dust that will be around and watching the next tropical waves, but only a spotty shower that will be possible as we work our way into tomorrow or Wednesday. And then by Thursday, you could see some of the rain, Costa Rica and Panama, monitoring some of that. And this here, that is the dust actually showing up on this model. This here is some of the rain so you can see how the dust will be battling some of these tropical waves that will be headed our way. So I will monitor for the chances of development. Let me widen out the view here. We have a couple tropical waves. This one in particular, the one that just came off the coast of Africa yesterday, that's the stronger one that I'm going to watch out for some development. You can see it here as we go over in time. We'll work our way through the end of the week and as we get into later on Friday, you see this strong tropical wave sitting right in through here. I also want to keep an eye on the coast of the southeast U.S. A lot of rain will be building off the coast. Sometimes you could get some development uh, across uh, the southeast U.S. Uh, this time of year with some old fronts. Then as we work our way into Sunday, you see here the American model is not developing this area, but Sunday into Monday it is bringing us a better chance of rain. Keep in mind that dust right around this preventing some development. Then going out in time here even more so as we work our way into Monday, scattered areas of rain will be working across the Caribbean, but 
but here's what's going to happen. The tropical wave itself will eventually slide toward the Bahamas, maybe into the uh, Gulf where it could eventually develop some down the road and then new tropical waves coming off of Africa and some of the models, including the European models, are developing those. So this tropical wave, I'll be monitoring for our chances of rain, long-term development, and those new tropical waves once we get into the first weekend of August. Most of the models are hinting at some significant development out of those, which would be common as we get deeper uh, into the hurricane season. Now out here, here we are in Mexico, just to orient you, the Baja right here, lots of moisture building. This here is Iona, this here is uh, Kelly. They will stay to the south of Hawaii. They'll stay to the south of the islands here. You can see this here is by Thursday. This here is Iona, Kelly may just fall apart. Storms don't necessarily combine. A stronger storm could take over a weaker one, or if they both stay strong, they rotate around each other. Uh, but out here, as we work our way deeper into time into the upcoming weekend, the eastern and central Pacific, very active. You can see here, one spin here, watching another area back behind it, multiple named systems possible. So I'll monitor Mexico for the most part, staying away. And then this out here still Iona may be one of those long trekkers that moves all the way across the uh, Pacific, but staying away from Hawaii. Again, that's through the weekend. You see the track on this. Here is Hawaii, and you see this. This is uh, Iona. Winds uh, will be even stronger the next couple of days. A uh, major hurricane, Category 3 strength. Uh, winds upwards of 115, 125 miles per hour. And then you see behind it, this is Kelly. It should diminish as it kind of runs into the atmosphere, the environment of Iona out ahead of it, but also Kelly staying to the south of the uh, big island there. Let's swing to the north, watching some areas of moisture uh, near New Brunswick, uh, Newfoundland. The southeast U.S., some storms building up and a shot of strong, even severe storms right in through here again. The Dakotas back through Iowa, parts of Minnesota potentially, Wisconsin, Illinois, watching that all for uh, tonight. Look at some of that weather in Nebraska. Some of this could be severe tornado outbreak possible, and then you see that by tomorrow, making its way over toward uh, Michigan, Wisconsin, uh, parts of Iowa, Illinois, and Indiana. And these fronts are going to be dropping through over toward the southeast U.S. And that's why I mentioned as these drop in, you see even a couple near Nova Scotia, a couple areas of rain back through New England in the mid-Atlantic. As these start to move off the southeast coast of the U.S., it's going to be a lot of rain building in here. So there is even a chance of something trying to spin up uh, first or second week of uh, August, uh, just kind of keeping an eye on the southeast. East U.S. for development. So scattered storms around. If we get one, we could get a quick 50 millimeters of rain or two inches of rain. I mentioned that in Jamaica, Cayman Islands, Cuba, eastern Cuba, better chance of storms. Isolate it in Haiti and the Dominican Republic, but where we get them, they could be quite strong. Same thing in Puerto Rico. Rain chance not super high overall, but we do need to monitor some lightning, as I've been mentioning the last uh, several days. But in through here, St. Kitts and Nevis, Montserrat, Seba, Stacia, St. Croix, St. Thomas, uh, Tortola, St. John, watching out for some periods of dust. We need to get some rain in some spots. Sometimes a, a healthy tropical wave could be a good thing with some rain so long it doesn't develop. And hit or miss shower or storm, St. Vincent of the Grenadines, Barbados, Grenada, uh, Trinidad and Tobago. A little bit more in Guyana, not as much in Suriname, still central Venezuela, the higher chance of rain. But here are some of the bigger totals, western and southern Nicaragua, rather eastern and southern Nicaragua and Costa Rica, and then western sections of Panama, some spots over 100 millimeters of rain or four inches of rain the next couple of days. Monitoring Mexico, again, any of that development should stay down to the south over the open waters, but there's that feed in western Mexico. Watching the flooding in New Mexico, which I highlighted yesterday, but here's that moisture building in the southeast U.S. If you get some thunderstorms, few inches of rain will be possible right up through the mid-Atlantic, and then this is the moisture that pushes off of the coast that may eventually try to develop as it gets over the warm waters of the Gulf Stream. Now, a bit of a chop south of Jamaica today. Uh, let's go out in time here. I want to show you the Atlantic waters getting getting choppier as the next tropical waves begin to approach. So this is today taking you into tomorrow, generally the same thing, things a little bit rougher on the eastern Pacific side. But as we work our way into the end of the week, Friday into the weekend, you see the Atlantic passageways, more of a chop watching the next tropical wave that will be approaching by the time we get into the weekend. That's the one I'll monitor for any signs of development. But again, it is battling some of that dust around. So Jamaica, we have about a 50% chance of scattered thunderstorms today. So some 
of us will be getting them and they could be strong for us in spots while others are just super dry and super hot. Isolated shower or storm, Cayman Islands, and about a 20 to 30% chance. You see how it's down for us in Trinidad and Tobago over toward Port of Spain. 30% chance in Barbados. Uh, that's it. Rain chance staying very uh, limited the next few days. 20 to 30% chance in St. Lucia. Rain chance holding at 20%. We're mainly dry the next three days in Grenada and mainly dry St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Rain chance is small. Same thing Martinique swinging back through Dominica holding on to about a 20 to 30% chance. Isolated passing shower the next three days in Guadeloupe. Swing to the north. Monitoring some dust. Mainly dry Antigua Barbuda. Rain chance staying low. St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat and mainly dry Anguilla and St. Bart's uh, the next few days. Lower air quality with some of that Saharan dust around St. Martin, St. Anastasia very limited chance, low rain chance. Now, as we work our way into Puerto Rico, rain chance not high, but an isolated thunderstorm possible and about a 10 to 20% chance U.S. and British Virgin Islands, 20 to 30% chance Northern Central and Southern Bahamas, Turks and Caicos, slight chance of a passing shower. Now, isolated storms in the DR. There could be some quick runoff, watching out for a few slides and spots, rain not widespread, but where we get it, it is going to be coming down, 30% chance for today in Haiti, monitoring the river crossing. There could be a couple late day thunderstorms around. Rain chance in Belize, we're on the higher side, a 60% chance for us today, a 50% chance for tomorrow. Meanwhile, in Aruba, Curacao, and Bonaire, that rain chance, not too terribly high, kind of a seasonal 20% uh, chance. 60% chance in Guyana, about a 40 to 50% chance as we work our way into uh, Suriname. Isolated storms in Cuba, better chance though, eastern end, that's where a couple of those could be strong. 80% chance of rain, uh, Costa Rica, Panama today, especially especially western Panama, and a 60 to 70% chance in Nicaragua. Active in Honduras, especially eastern sections and northern sections over toward Roatan, for example, we could get some heavier rain at times. 60 to 70% chance Guatemala and El Salvador. Scattered areas of rain, flooding possible back through parts of Mexico City. 40% chance across the Yucatan Peninsula, and a 50% chance in northern Colombia. Rain chance building in northern Venezuela tomorrow and on Thursday, and about a 20% chance as we work our way back through uh, Bermuda. So tropical waves on the move, watching out very closely for any signs of development, but the Saharan dust will come uh, with them. Uh, so that may prevent at least some initial development, but a more active period ahead. I mentioned those stronger tropical uh, waves that will be coming off the coast of Africa down the road that most of the models are trying to develop. That's what I'll be tracking with you in future videos. Thank you for being with me and have a wonderful Tuesday ahead.